welcome back. I'm ready to another episode of She Plays Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn with Kovu and Little Black Courier Chocobo. <laughs> the last time we left off, we left off at a little bit of a cliffhanger. People have been getting kidnapped by the Amal Jah, but before we continue on with the main scenario and save the poor people, poor sods, and you know, the ones that we don't stuff in our pockets, uh, there was something I wanted to do first. We wanted to talk to this troubled adventurer. And there are specific reason. well, there is a specific reason, I should say, for it. Several adventurers are having difficult, difficulty summoning their retainers. Should you wish to offer your assistance, you will find these troubled souls in Limsa Liminsa, Gridania, and Ulda. The rewards will be the same regardless of whom you help, so do not hesitate to aid the adventurer of your choice. Well, we're going to go ahead and just aid this guy right here, why not? Hmm, is this damn thing working? Oh, hello there. Say, you look like you're an old hand. Like, you're an old hand when it comes to adventuring business. Mind helping me with the situation? Why, yes indeed. I sent my retainer to Drybone the other day on adventuring. Hunting, to be precise. Simple enough work, right? Except now she's gone missing. Much as I'd like to head out there and look for her, though, I know full well that I'd be feeding the buzzards before long. So if you're willing, I'd be much obliged if you could go to Eastern Thetaland in my stead. What? You want me to go fetch your retainer and I guess your link shell's not working? But you know what? I got this. I can do that for you. I'm gonna go ahead and just head over to Drybone. Uh-oh, I certainly hope she wasn't attacked by a bunch of myotigus nannies. Probably not. Ah, oh, there she is. In the big purple, purple, purple circle. Oh, hello. I kind of forgot to get my carbuncle out. That's okay. Nighty night, little mongrel. Yeah, goober. Yeah, I'm gonna get away from me. Alright, lady. Calm down. It's okay. I've come to rescue you. You, sir, are a saint. I thought I was done for. <laughs> it's kind of funny how, like, she's, like, cowering there in the corner all of a sudden. She's all good and happy. What's that look for? I take it you've never seen a retainer on a hunting venture before. It's a regular part of my duties these days. Though I admit I'm not very good at it. Oh my, is that who I think it is? Hello? Yes, he arrived in the nick- I'll return it once. <sighs> I'm afraid I don't have time to stay and chat. Duty calls. But thank you again for saving my life. I wish I could reward you somehow. But, oh, I know. Go and tell Chichabi, my supervisor, how you helped me. You can find her at the Sapphire Avenue Exchange in Ulda. Be sure to pay a visit. Alrighty then, lady. Oh, it's the lady that gave us the retainer in the first place. Speaking of, I did get a second retainer. Her name is Papyrus, and but I will show you her in a moment. Greetings, sir. Is there aught you require? Oh, I know exactly of whom you speak. This was not the first incident. Perhaps she, perhaps she lacks the fort fortitude to undertake ventures. Oh dear, I know that look. No one has informed you of your latest services, have they? In cooperation with the Adventurer's Guild, we have established a new system through which retainers may be dispatched to procure items for their employers. Should you wish to avail yourself of this additional service, you will need to pay your retainers in advance with ventures, which are script issued by the Adventurer's Guild. I gather you have none in your possession, so allow me to give you a token sum. Your retainers have received basic instruction in a variety of disciplines, but they want for experience. If you would like them to undertake anything more than the most menial of tasks, you will need to furnish them with quality equipment and give them opportunities to hone their skills. So long as you bear in mind, I should think you will not be disappointed. Ooh.
You may now dispatch your the uh, you may now dispatch the retainers in your employ on ventures. Summon that the retainer you wish to send a field and follow the instructions to begin. Alright, so what they mean is, since we have two, let's go ahead and talk to uh Oh, before you do so, however, you must first assign them a class. After summoning a retainer, select assign retainer class from the retainer menu and begin. Now the only problem is, let's go ahead and do watercolor first. Let's go. Okay, so you have to assign a class. Your retainer can undertake until you assign. This can be any one class, with the exception of those of the disciple of the hand. Your retainer's class determines which venture he or she will embark upon. Please be advised that you cannot assign your retainer a class you have not yet unlocked. So, pretty much all these are unavailable. She can only become an arcanist. And we actually have to get a book for her. Uh, okay. So, yeah. We're gonna make her an arcanist, just like us. But now we need to get... Um, a book for her. So let's go ahead and grab some gear for her, and I'll be right back. And when I said grab some gear for her, I really just meant a book. So let's we'll summon her. And then we're going to view her attributes and gear. And give her the book. There we go. Now she's finally got a book here. So, one other thing I wanted to give her was, uh... Oh! I know. Hold on. One second, but we'll we'll get to that in a second. Your retainer is now duly prepared to undertake ventures. Select assign venture from the retainer menu to proceed, which is right here. But I don't want to do that just yet. Let's go ahead and pull out Papyrus because she's got something that I need. What do you have for me? Come on, come on, don't be shy. Uh, I want this. She's got all my gear. And I'm holding on to all of this for a particular reason for a later time, which, which will be a little while in the future. So let's go ahead and quit. Because we can't give her an assignment just yet. Pull watercolor back out. Now this part I kind of like. Let's go ahead and get this. And we're going to give her that. And we're going to give her that. And we're going to give her this. And this. And this. There we go. Now she's dressed like a little maid. As a chick. Chow. 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 Sorry. Um, okay, so now that she has gear. <laughs> not like it's much gear. We can go assign venture. There are two main types of ventures which you can assign your retainer. Hunting, mining, botany, and fishing constitute one type, in which you specify an item for your retainer to procure. Exploration ventures constitute the second type, in which your retainer will scour the terrain of your choosing for hopefully a precious item. However, your retainer will not undertake a venture without first receiving due compensation. A sign of venture requires a payment in a U-currency of the same name called ventures. Ventures can be acquired through a variety of methods, such as exchanging company seals, which we haven't gotten to yet, fulfilling lev objectives, and completing beast tribe quests. As you may recall, the ventures a retainer can undertake are determined by his or her class. As a disciple of war or magic, your retainer will be able to undertake hunting and field exploration ventures. So we're just going to do a field exploration because I think with hunting, yeah, you're limited to one or five, and then there's field exploration one. It takes about 18 hours, costs two ventures, um, regular hunting, I can't remember if this, what, how long that takes, I think it only takes like two hours or something like that, but usually I only check it about once a day anyway, so we'll go ahead and do that. This shows you how much experience points they're going to be given, how much time, when it's going to be completed, the cost, how many you have in your bag, any requirements, and what level, and so we're going to assign. You have assigned watercolor adventure. To determine the time remaining until adventure is complete, well, you just saw wh what I was going, or you can go under timers, under the duty from the main menu, and select ventures. You can also confirm the time remaining by selecting view venue report from the retainer menu. Should you wish to cancel the venture and recall your retainer, you may do so when viewing the venture report. However, please be advised that this is not necessarily necessary unless you wish to assign a different venture to your retainer. 
Even with a venture in progress, you can still entrust and withdraw items and gill or sell items at the market, though your retainer will actually show a little bit of um, annoyance at being disturbed while they're in the middle of a venture. So I still have full access to all of my retainers and still see how many ventures I have. I have 10 left, or excuse me, 8 left out of 10. You can see that she has it in progress and when it's going to be complete. So that's pretty much all you need to know about the ventures. I'm going to go ahead and quit and she's going to go and do her venture and sell items on the markets. And that's pretty much it for the additional retainer ventures. Let's see. So let's move on to the next order of business. Well, I suppose we should get back to rescuing these people. <laughs> or anyway, figuring out what's going on. Uh, turn our investigation to the common folk. Let's say we turn an eye to the common folk themselves. It may be among them that we find the reasons for these vanishings. Twelve forbid it to be so. There is a merchant by the name of Ungust, who was born here in Drybone and grew up at the Golden Bazaar. A rough character, but he knows the people here better than anyone else. I'd wager he's at the end, quaffing away the day's earnings. Here, I'll write you a note to show you- uh, I'll write a note to sh for you to show him, else he's not like to speak to you. What, some drunk? Oh man, I guess he's in this building right over here. Oh my god, it's him. Well, gods be damned, you're that bloody adventurer who threatened me back in Ulda. What in seven hells do you want with me now? Oops. Dear friend, missing people, please help your assassin bird. Look around here as where as they come. They'll turn tail and run if you so much as pass wind nearby. Played them all for fools and coaxed some hard labor out of them, I did. If anything, they're even more timid than before. What with all the disappearances. You can go talk to them yourself if you don't believe me. Oh, really? Well, I guess that's exactly what I'll do, but, you know... Oh, there's a hungry beggar. I don't have any food for you. Please, sir, just leave me be. Ah, uh, devious derelict? I've got nothing to say but this. That'll take who or whatever's been feeding off a slow folk. Oh man. Petrified Popper, how about you? What do you want from me? I don't know anything, I swear! Please don't kill me! Um, uh, alright. They, like, they don't really like me that much, huh? Uh, does this guy know more, perhaps? Just as I told you, wasn't it? The whole lot of them are terrified. There's been a talk of folk getting abducted, but if you ask me, they simply up and moved on to a better place. This place isn't exactly Costa del Sol, if you know what I'm saying. Hmm. Still doesn't sit right with me. Can't very much say that I'm satisfied with what I've gathered from these poor folks that seem to be suffering. Welcome back, Kohu. Have you learned aught of import? Hmm, I see. Suppose I should have expected as much from Ungust. Well, another thought occurred to me in your absence. The common folk are nothing if not fervent in their religious beliefs. Perhaps if they speak freely to their gods, then the clergyman may know something of use. Clergyman, you say? What is this about a clergyman? If we would know what the common folk speak of their gods, we have no better place to ask than the Church of St. Adama Landama. It's a small and humble church found northwest of here. And so long as you're headed there, might I ask you to deliver this embalmed corpse? Sure, dear. Let me just fling it right over my shoulder. A morbid request I grant you, but it must be born to burial, and I trust none more than you to see it done. Seek so out a man named Marquise. He tends the graves of the lichard. He will tell you where the body is to be interred. Oh my goodness. Alright, well... Back to the, or up to ah, the church. There he is. Mr. Marquis, man. I am Marquis, yes. A body, of course. There there have been so many bodies of late. 
I... I apologize, sir. If you seek a place of burial, then this is an empty grave atop the... Then there is an empty grave atop the ridge. Take the path and lay him to rest there. Very well! What path? This path? No path. There's no path right there. I gotta take another path. But that is not a path. Oh, is it this path? Perhaps? Or well, mayhaps I didn't give this one enough a chance. I didn't. It looked like it was a uh, dead end right there. <laughs> Gravesite! Yeah, let's just go ahead and throw this body right here. The embalmed corpse. Alrighty, because, you know, that's what we do. We just lay bodies on the ground right in front of the... This is very morbid. And I buried him. Wow. I got skills of burial, yo. Usually that thing takes, like, hours. I was done in, like, three seconds. Either that or I just turned him into rocks. Ah, the power of magic. Do you believe in magic? Turning corpse to stone. And now we gotta talk to... I'm sorry. May they all walk in Thom's realm. What? Missing people? I'm afraid I cannot help you. But my sister Orkin can. She's been kind to me. Everyone. Everyone has been so kind. I don't know why, though. I... Pardon me. You will find Sister Orkin within the church halls. Alright, weirdo. What, this lady right here? I you hear you have done us the service of burying a fallen soul. Please accept our gratitude and extend it to Isambard when you next see him. Isambard. Hmm, you seek knowledge of missing drybone inhabitants. It is true I am closer to the people than any other of the Order. I confide in them, and they in me. When they wish to speak to the Keeper Sal, I am the medium through which they do. Should I learn anything pertinent, I will be sure to share the information with you. If only Marquis would be more helpful in the matter. I pray he did nothing to offend. He saw terrible things during the calamity. His scars run deep. Indeed, he seems to now prefer the company of the dead over the living. While tragic, I fear such behavior ill befits the church. I received word not long ago that one of our recent visitors, a man called Thancred, I believe, took offense at his conduct. I must have words with the Marquis, and soon... What? Thancred was talking with this man and got offended? Why would he be mad? Hmm. I don't know, but we gotta go back to Drybone. Alright, here's a sitch. Thank you, Kovu. Thank you, Kovu. A burial is no easy thing, even when the departed is a stranger. Were you able to learn aught of the missing common folk? You've been keeping yourself busy rather as of late, haven't you, Kovu? A pleasure, my dear Isambard. My name is Thancred, and I share a passion with you and our mutual friend here for learning. What has it become of these missing persons, and why? I, too, spoke with Ungust, more times than I care to count. There seems to be some truth to this notion of the common folk speaking their secrets only to those in service to the gods. Prostration, prayer, penance, abject deeds done behind closed doors, away from prying eyes. Who better to take the pious unawares than she who takes confession? The good sister Orson herself. Orson? She wouldn't. She couldn't. Even the most beautiful roses have thorns, my friend. And you would be wise to keep an eye on this rose. Still, the Lich Keeper Marquise. I'd swear to the Twelve I've seen that face elsewhere before. Oh, really? Let me see here. Do we have anything good? No. Go ahead and give me the silver. But on that note, we're going to go ahead and end the episode there. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this episode of She Plays Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn with Kovu and Little Courier Black Chocobo. I'll see you next time.